Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the back end of Tracker now. And um, uh, one of the biggest updates we have there is that we are uh, from version 30 no longer referring to the new Tracker. We are going to talk about the Tracker endpoint only. And when we mention Tracker, this is the new Tracker. Um, we have renamed in the documentation um, the existing Tracker endpoints to old or deprecated Tracker. And um, we are um, uh, we are encouraging everyone to stop using the old tracker endpoint and start using the new one um, from version 40. Uh, under the hood, we have uh, separated the code and we are getting ready to leave. And oh, wow, wow. Yeah, someone unmuted. Uh, we are getting ready to uh, remove and delete the old endpoints. Uh, the capture uh, the capture app uh, web and also the Android capture app are now both using the new tracker as the standard or as we will call it from now the tracker endpoint we have two minor features uh, added to the uh, to the backend and one of them is on the tracker endpoint it's uh, API support for downloading uh, tracked entities as CSV uh, um, that might be useful sometimes to, to download TIs into CSV uh, we also have an API for downloading files um, that has been uh, uploaded on tracked entity attributes. This did not uh, exist before, and it has been implemented now. Uh, 